hungry, but I want to play more. You see the adrenaline, it's adrenaline, you know. It's, 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 it's what, I, what I told on the porch, you know, about the theater was sacred to you, that you're God imminent in man, I am M A N E N T, you know, that you're the vessel for the muses, you know, and whatever is the you know, so the only seal of the side should do is you thank you, Lord, dear, you thank you, great Lord. And thank you, Epilon. And thank you, Zeus, and thank you all the northern gods northern gods and the Hindu ones and all the gods of the Bible and all of the angels. Right, that I've been given this gift. And I know that when you have a when you have a gift given, you're supposed to give it. And here I'm stifled by like a wet blanket over me all the time. Personally and culturally and everything, right? Who I am is disdained here. Not just resented, but disdained. So I would love to live in, you know, some, if someone has a nice place in France or somewhere in Italy or a place in Greece, you know, I, I'd love to live there and speak the language and, you know, be in another country. And do what I do somewhere where I have, you know, places nearby where there's going to be an audience. You know, there's many cities in France where someone like me or Spain or Italy or someone like me in Milan, you know, it's probably Italian. A little bit, you know. Pico, Pico, I think Poco. Italian, probably Italian or Poco. I was saying my cousin Angie, who lives in Oliver, who's like my my sister's godparents, one of her, one of their daughters, their eight kids, clones. But Angie, we grew up with him, and Angie told me, Angie told me ever since I was little, anything I picked up, I was music with. But I remember being that way because I was not allowed to play, I guess. That my early accordion, so I ever did, maybe I sang, well, you can't sing, you know, mom had, thought she had a bad voice, but a strong voice like mine, you know. But I have dad's basso, but it also turns out I'm a held in tenor. And when I sing high, like, people's heard me sing, take me to the river, it's a burnside in Dartmouth, you know. And I did like a really good version. I've done it before. My voice just gets this nice big ringing high, sort of baritone high, baritone tenor tone. But I also sing the big slow basso, you know, and my background is opera and classical music and raga, you know, East Indian singing, Bob Gamelan, African music, you know, like my background's not just classical, but I wanted to learn it all myself, you know, so I had to expose myself in high volumes, everything, like in volume of material, you know, I listen to everything. Tibetan chant, you know, whatever. I hear a lot of Native American First Nation stuff, and I love some of the Dana stuff, you know, and the Yakut, the Yakuts, yeah. and the Koryak, Koryak dancing, just fucking wild and crazy. I want to go to Yakutia and, 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 and get into the Koryak beat, you know, and dance with those guys. I want to get in shape so I can dance. And Kumahula Mark in Oakland, I hope here's this the same brother, you know. I never do some hula, but teach me some songs, but let's do some jive together. I, mean, I love the guy's voice and the sense of the rhythm he does. I'd love to play with him sometime. I know the guys from First Light, the Jeff Don, Ronnie Johnson band. You know, somewhere they're out there. Paul Richardson, who stage Mountain Fest, maybe is still around. Toby Slatter might be around, used to run the Delta. There's people I knew at Whistler who maybe you know my contact. And there's people at Whistler I should be following. You know, I've got so many people to write and things to do. It's crazy to make this happen. But on the other hand, i got Mark now, and i got Luke out there, and we'll have another place to play soon. I know I'm going to find a place. And then Mark was saying, you know, they got a place for pottery here in the basement of the act, but they got no musician space. There's an LPA performance theater doesn't have a grand piano. If someone like me in town that can't get good access to the one they had in the gazebo now because they lock it up, they won't let anybody play at the library. Okay, okay, so this is what, a cultural center? Come on now. I mean, let me just get real, okay? The reason I call it redneck killing and so it's not what the people you call skids. Those are the people having a hard time because of you being rich and your investments and the companies and the system you believe in. Your, your, the system you believe in is why there's people living on the street and why kids don't have anything to do and why they're scared of their future. This is why I kind of want out of British Columbia and I see the inevitability here. You know, I totally support native sovereignty and more I can say about that. But the reality is we got 16 miles that way, we got the United States. And there's a ditch between us and it. It's never meant much. You know, I could go into the history of it again. I have my vlogs, my, my unprofessor history vlogs, and Skookum on professor vlogs, street professor vlogs. Uh, I have to come up with a solidified name. So I'll have a little contest video. Okay, here's the choices. Which one do you like best? I'll do that one sometime. So anyways, play another song, shut up, and go, go eat something, Mike. There's one I was wanting to play.